is great, uh, a great image that I saw in the archives from the Fundación Juan March. It's, um, it's an um, image of a, a child that uh, Fernando Sobel took in Cuenca. And um, since the very beginning of this project, uh, I was really intrigued about the, the meaning of this image. Is it Fernando Sobel? Is it an alias? Is it something like uh, it has to do with uh, his uh, being displaced? Is uh, between belonging to different worlds? What's uh, that gesture close to the wall? This is one of the first images he took in Cuenca. A good starting point for this project. This is a clip from a newspaper that the Fernando Sobel collected. Fernando Sobel, man and an artist. His, his art as a reflection of his very versatile, dramatic personality. When I found about, you know, the doing research about Fernando Sobel, I realized that he was a very complex person, you know, coming from different backgrounds, from, you know, being a transnational artist, um, and really was fascinated by his um, personality. It was quite interesting not focusing as a curator um, on the, his, only on, on his work, only trying to trying to understand his personality, trying to understand what's behind his paintings. These are pictures of by Fernando Nuño, a photographer from Spain. Um, we see Fernando Sobel uh, painting, and uh, I was amazed by the That image, fencing, has to do with uh, controlling. Fencing has to do with uh, uh, thinking about the, the next movement. And I think it's a good metaphor about Fernando Sobel, uh, you know, artistic practice. And it's by chance I found this uh, image, you know. Um, the, the purpose of bringing these images with me is because uh, this is, a, in, in a certain way, they are going to settle some of the goals of the exhibition. I mean, or at least uh, there are images that uh, spoke to me in a certain way, right? And, um, uh, okay, I'm not sure about this. I don't know if it's, uh, they are uh, very subjective uh, perceptions, but um, this is the way I work, because uh, I have to say, I'm an artist, visual artist. I'm not, uh, I'm not an art historian, and uh, what I like to do is uh, to create relationships, to create um, stories and to connect things, so, right? It's uh, like uh, editing, no? It's, uh, and also when, when you're editing, you are like um, connecting stories and you are connecting things that, that you are looking in, into those images, right? These are images that, that he took in one of his trips to Japan. And what I like about these images, we, we got uh, a lot of uh, other images uh, in Japan, but um, I, I really wanted to focus on these ones because they are focused on certain gestures. Um, I like the way he was taking a look about uh, the, the Japanese theater and uh, the way that uh, I see in a certain way related to his paintings and the way that he's using his, uh, his brushes uh, the way he was acting with the paintings, and that we're gonna see later on about the the way we uh, we decide to install the paintings in Venice. I mean, to to make the architectural design. Another in important point in the Fernando Sobel, or I mean, for me, that was quite important. That, you know, Sobel's acceptance. He belonged to the, to the, to two different worlds. Was he Filipino? Was he Spanish? What's the point of belonging to them? Is he representative of uh, Filipino culture? Is he representative of um, Spanish culture? He tried to be both. He was a quite advanced person at that time. We are talking about the late 50s and early 60s, before nomad artists, before 
the global wall, our wall, we are talking about the person who was moving from the east to the west, from the west to the east. So uh, this was a quite important point for, for us uh, in, in order to establish you know, the, one of the important themes of the, of the show. Uh, take a look at this uh, newspaper clip, Japanese with modifications. It, it, was, uh, it happened after the first, uh, one of the first trips that he made to Japan. Um, he decided to extend, you know, to expand his house and incorporate a Japanese uh, area, right? The second one is a, is a clip from a, a newspaper. And um, what I like is uh, the, the, the headline of the same article. It says, sober acceptance. It says, uh, what does it mean? What, this, what is this idea of belonging? That was a very important uh, point in Venice in order to, you know, to set this uh, exhibition.